Hi everyone and welcome to the final day of Langfuse launch week day six. Today I'm really excited to talk to you about the new Langfuse evaluation library. With this comes an announcement of a new partnership with Ragas, so a shout out to you guys for building such an amazing product, where we have chosen to integrate Ragas managed evaluators next to Langfuse managed evaluators. What this all means is that we're trying to make the hard problem of getting started with evaluation that much easier by providing a set of evaluators that we maintain to get you started. So the time to like the first evaluation is just that much shorter. We plan to extend this with popular open source libraries over time and make more partnerships in the space so we can provide a larger library for you to choose evaluation from. Without much further ado, I would also like to walk you through the new user interface that we have created with the same goal of making evaluation that much easier and more seamless to set up. So let's take a look. First of all, I would come into my running evaluation section and choose to set up an evaluator. Let's say that I have launched a new QA chatbot for my application and I would like to check whether it's hallucinating or not. Perfect. Here I have a hallucination evaluator that I can just use off the bat. Let's give that a try. I'm going to use the selected evaluator and allow me to walk you through the sections here. Firstly, I want to understand what type of data I would like to run this evaluator on. To this end, I can filter down here where I would say, all right, I just mentioned I would like to run evaluations on the new chatbot I have introduced. So I have actually gone ahead and set up a tagging mechanism for traces that are coming from that chatbot. We can see here in a preview, this would have been the data that this would have matched on in the last 24 hours, which looks about right. These are the traces I'm expecting from my chatbot. Fantastic. So now I have the what type of data to run on section completed. Moving on to the variable mapping, I can now also take a look at my evaluation prompt. More specifically, I see a preview here where I could take a look at my hallucination prompt, read through it and see whether it makes sense. The thing that I notice here is that I have variables which are color coded. In this case, specifically query and generation. I'm seeing that the query is looking quite correct. So here I have the question here of what is the capital of Germany? That sounds about right. But the generation is the same. That's, that's not what I'm looking for. So I would come in here and look at the mapping and I would say, ah, oh, for the generation, the trace output actually makes sense. Fantastic. So now it's updated to the capital of Germany is Berlin. That looks about right. If I want to build more confidence, I can circle through a couple of examples um, that we have collected here as well and validate that this makes sense also for a couple of other traces. Fantastic. So here, similar example, what's the capital of Japan? And there we go. That's fantastic. I think that's about it. Now I just have to execute this and I can get started with evaluation. Thank you all so much for listening and being a part of Langfuse Launch Week. It truly really has been a blast and we can't wait to see you soon.